Hey guys, it's Tiffany. Welcome back. So I'm on this morning with an outgoing swap project share. This is actually take two. <laughs> um, the first video, I don't know, I messed up so much and I don't know, I think the um, the pollen here is um, really high because I feel so, um, I feel like I have allergies. Like I sound nasally and it's just awful. So I'm sorry, but um, I don't have the sniffles or anything. It's just my nose, it's stuffy and it's kind of hard to breathe. But um, anyway, so this swap um, that I'm gonna share is hosted by Lacey, who is uh, the cheeky bum here on YouTube and Instagram. So her swap um, is called the uh, Loaded Caboodle Swap. And we were to buy those caboodles, um, which were these, remember? I think these were like back um, when Dollar Tree had, um, you know, all the Valentine crafts. Um, I think this was with that season because I know it's seasonal. I don't think they carry it year round. Anyway, that's what one of the workers told me. They said that it's a seasonal item. But in any case, we're, we're to buy these and we're to fill it up. Everything we make um, is supposed to fit in the caboodle. So nothing outside of the caboodle. And she had a list um, of at least uh, probably like 15 to 20 things um, to choose from to make. Uh, and we were to pick at least eight um, to create and you know, put it in the caboodle. And so um, I picked more than eight. I think I fit about 12 to 14 items in here. And so I just, um, yeah, I just wanted to fill it up. I didn't put any stuffing in here because I just wanted to have it filled with crafty goodies, you know, versus, you know, having to um, fill it with stuffing. So it is like just fully stuffed and I told Lacey I was going to mail it out, I think, last week, like early last week. But after, um, you know, packing everything, at first it wasn't full to the top. And I was like, you know, I'm going to keep it um, just in case I get some kind of crafty spurt. <laughs> and, you know, I decide I, I want to create things because to, I'm still not in the crafty mood. Ever since our accident, I have just, it's like it knocked the craftiness out of me. I just cannot sit down and craft like I can sit here and I'm just blank and I've been so tired like just not myself and so that's why I haven't really been posting a lot of pictures on Instagram or making videos or you know even signing up for any swaps because I just you know I haven't been feeling crafty so I was just gonna I was gonna take some time to myself but this morning I did have a little crafty spurt so I made something to add um to the caboodle and last week I also had um, a couple small crafty spurts and so I was able to um, you know create three more items for the caboodle so I'm glad I kept it because you know you don't want to send something that's not your best right like you know I mean I give my 100% in everything I do don't get me wrong I do but sometimes even when I do like my 100% I always second guess myself and you know like oh is this good enough or I should do more and so I need to I need to stop doing that but you know I did that and so I didn't mail it so sorry Lacey I still have it but it is going to go out tomorrow um it was supposed to go out I think last week Monday or even maybe the week before I'm not sure but it's not due till April 15th so I'm still good <laughs> so let me just show you what I created um it was a make one get one or make two get two and I'm just gonna do I'm the make one get one and I gift I'm gifting one to Lacey it wasn't required but um I made her one so let me share let me share this one it's um exactly the same and so um we didn't um decorate it we had a, a vote with all the participants whether to embellish it or not and um not embellishing it won. Everybody wanted it to be flat so that they could keep it for storage, you know, for stacking because it'd be easier. So all I did was put a bow on here. And so I did the opposite colored bow. So see how this is the purple, but I put the purple bow here. This is a teal and I put the teal bow there. So 
and it's a glittery bow yeah so that's all i did and it's easy to, it's easy to take off so they can even um use this you know for our future project i guess but let's just get started so this is um my contents here so let me put it to the side and show you so this morning well first of all let me show you um the collection i use before i start so i used bloom street um, this is Paige Evans, um, Pink Paisley, Bloom Street, which I don't know if this came out last year, but I'm starting to um, stop hoarding my papers. I'm actually going to do a huge de of a lot of my papers because I'm really going to slow down with my crafting. I already have a lot of my Prima packs together and um, some um, Jen Hadfield and some other ones too because... Yeah, I'm really going to slow down and I really want to minimize my craft room. I'm going to um, make sure everything fits in this small room because I'm overtaking the outside area. And we want to make that a, um, a secondary um, playroom or living room for our kids. So, yeah, I'm just not feeling too crafty. So I'm going to get rid of a lot of stuff. But so, yeah, this is the, um, the um, paper collection. So first... This is what I made this morning because I did wake up and I was feeling a bit crafty. And so this is the Kite um, mini album from KS Craft. And it I think it turned out really cute. It's four different shaker um, compartments here because of the kite. You know, it has the um, cross there. I made this um, dimensional embellishment. And these are the ephemera pieces from the bloom street collection this pretty butterfly is from the kite die set and then this ribbon is just from my collection my ribbon collection here i actually just had this <laughs> on my desk and i just thought oh it's cute you know and it'll match and so i just used it for this and so yeah so that's um the shaker embellishment that i made so that's one thing then i had made this cute peeps flag here and again um using ks craft um this is ks craft everything i think the peeps the flag and the wording and i just stuck it on this really pretty um like watercolored straw here and um use like these pom-poms and then it's a bow from my stash so yeah i think that turned out cute so i did that then I made this envelope here, this policy envelope, again, Bloom Street. And I made um, five die cuts because that was one of the, um, you know, items I could choose from. And so I love bunnies. To me, spring and bunnies, Easter, butterflies, it's all spring. So these are my die cuts that I made. And I think they turned out super cute. So first, I made this here. So this is the negative from um, my, my memory decks that I made. So don't ever throw away. I mean, I'm sure y'all won't, but you know, I used the negative and I um, doubled it up to make it sturdy. And then I used Happy Easter and I put a flower on there. This here this cute little bunny girl from my stash she's from my stash i don't know where i got her from but i did use glossy accents on her ears and her nose her eyes and her cute little tummy there so she's very shiny super cute this one here is a ks craft bunny i love this die she is super cute look at her cute rosy cheeks <laughs> i love it and this here, again, from my stash. And she's holding a bunch of peeps there. And she's super cute, too. So that. And then a cute carrot, a shaker carrot. So, yeah. So, these are the five die cuts. And I had to stop putting bowls. Like This was one of the last ones I made. And I had to keep it flat because it's just getting smushed in here. So I'm just trying to make sure everything fits nicely. 
there see so I have that then I have these um, these are the bag toppers I think we were just to make one bag topper but I made two and if you count this one this is the third one I used um, those sticker sheets to make it um, you know shiny have the iridescent look this um, bag topper is from Midodo on AliExpress and I put it on just with um, a foam dot here and there so that they can pop it off and um, you know use that um, as a bag topper as well or reuse it and this is the uh, butterfly bag topper super cute so there's two of them there so they're getting two bag toppers and a bonus third one there because usually I hot glue my bag toppers on so they stay put but I wanted to gift it like that so that's the bag topper then I made a memory dex a cute bunny memory deck so this is the negative so you know from the die cuts in here that one I said I used a negative it's from this so I made this um memory decks and then I used the negative to make it into a die cut again I used um sticker sheets to um on plain pink paper to make it iridescent and shiny I have some handmade flowers there this is um flowers from I believe the Dollar Tree this one somebody gave it to me uh, for Valentine's so I just used that there I think that turned out super cute then I put some sweet treats in here these are some chocolates again this is happy Easter because I was gonna send this out before Easter but like I said I decided to keep it and then I have this cute candy necklace with this bunny I thought it was just cute and fun to add to it. And then also this. I purchased this from um, Hobby Lobby. And I thought this is super cute. Really pretty if they have like a tiered tray. You know, I have a tiered tray in my formal dining. And I always change it, you know, according to season. Even though right now it's still on Valentine's. I have not had time to change it yet. But, you know, you can put it on there or in their craft room or, you know, whatever. I just thought it was cute. And I, the color matched the theme and it fit inside the caboodle. And so I got them that. And then this here is my ribbon samples or trim samples. And so I think it was supposed to be two, but I put three because I like these colors together. Very spring spring looking so this is like green pink pink and yellow on um, this card here I think it's a KS craft card and this self still bag is really pretty because it has like flowers on it very springy so we have that then I picked a set of bows but I did do two I did two sets of bows so they're gonna get four so these are the angel wing bows uh, made by KS Craft. And in the center of my bows, I use like super cute cabochons here. Like that's a bunny. That's the flower. This one here is a butterfly. And then the cute bunny there. Super cute. So we're getting two sets of bows. I love making bows. So I could make bows all day and rosettes. <laughs> So here is the sequin mix. I put together a sequin mix. This bowl was, um, I, I got in a swap. Um, I don't know how long ago. I, I know it was this year. And all I did was put a, like a felt flower on here. These are from Hobby Lobby. So I thought that turned out cute. Very springy. I like the colors in the sequin mix there. So I have that. Then here I have rosettes. It's supposed to be a set, which a set is two, but I put a third one here because I did two rosette bases. Or even you know you can use it like this too. It's super cute because I use the um, iridescent hearts for the center, and then this one is embellished. It's um, chunky. So yeah, it's super cute. So I did that. Then I made 
a set of flower or four was well, it was supposed to be a set of four flowers but i made six and these are how they look this paper um came in a set it's from joanne's i don't know if it's a park lane or a dcwv but these are the colors in the paper set and so i made i made all the colors which is six and then this is a pretty bag topper that i attached there so I made that then I have this um, sticker sheet, butterflies. Again, this bowl was um, given to me in a swap. This here, this chain is um, a die just from my stash. And yeah, I just uh, made a simple bag topper there for that. And then I made this cute card, Easter card here. Um, this is not from the Bloom Street collection. Um, I make cards here and there, and then I just keep them, you know, on the side. And so I looked through my stash, and then I saw that I had um, a few spring Easter cards. And so I thought I'll gift them this one. So yeah, so this is what I came up with. And I might add a few more things before I actually um, package it. I, I did schedule my pickup for tomorrow so it is definitely going to go out tomorrow but um, if I can squeeze a little bit more into the caboodle I will but it will be more store-bought items than handmade items but yeah I think um, this is really good I did more than eight um, I think I did like one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen about fifteen items and so I think that's great to fit in this um, caboodle. You can actually fit a lot in here. And so that's why I didn't want to, um, I had to be careful with my packaging. You know, I didn't go too crazy with packaging because, you know, when you do things like this, it takes up space, you know. So I did on some, like, you know, but not a lot. I try to keep it flat or not at all just so that I could fit more items in it. You know, just put it in a nice cellophane bag and keep them organized. So that way, you know, we could I could fit more items in it. But anyway, I hope you all enjoyed. I hope my partner likes um, what I made. And I hope Lacey um, likes it as well. Thank you all for watching. Lacey, thank you for hosting this swap. I really had fun. Um, I'm glad I got some crafty craftiness back in me <laughs> so I could finish the swap. Well, not finish it, but finish it to where I feel good. Like, okay, you know. I'm happy with, um, you know, sending this swap out. So anyway, y'all take care. Have a happy Tuesday. Hope you all are doing well. And um, I will see you all soon. Bye.